Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a video on the Capricorn Ascendant. Okay, so Capricorn obviously ruled by Saturn and ruled by the 10th house. So if we put that into our Ascendant sign, which is how we're perceived by the world, um, how we can like project ourselves onto others before they get to kind of know us and then they see our sun sign. This kind of Capricorn Ascendant, Saturn, what does Saturn rule? You know, like government structures, you know, business, um, authority, tyrants. Um, I find the Capricorn Ascendant is the best thing to do is look at Saturn in your personal chart and see how Saturn aspects all the planets in your chart. See how Saturn's functioning. If it's got a lot of squares and it's under a lot of struggle, I find that these Capricorn Ascendants can have a different kind of appearance to Capricorn Ascendants that have a really like well-functioning, you know, really strong, stable Saturn compared to a kind of like weak, debilitated one. I do find that the ruling planet of whatever your Ascendant is kind of can affect your appearance in that way. What else can affect the appearance of the Ascendant is like planets in the first house and any aspects being made to your ascendant sign as well. So keep an eye out for like those things because that's going to affect this aspect. Um, and also along with a lot of other things, but this alone is, is what this will mean. So these ascendants are usually quite a, like very smart. They can have kind of like a deadpan sort of humor. Like they'll just kind of like cut, like, they can be like kind of weirdly witty in like a strange Capricorn kind of way. Um, they'll tend to have like, you know, prominent teeth, whether their teeth are bad will kind of more depend on how the ascendant is aspected. If I find if Saturn is suffering with a lot of squares, they, they can more tend to have the, the bad teeth, like lots of problems, lots of like bone issues. Um, they can have really just very fine features, very skinny everywhere. This is well known about Capricorn, kind of almost a gaunt look sometimes. Uh, but they're very conditioned and they can be very traditional. Even if they don't look traditional, their beliefs in they, their head that they believe to be traditional, um, they, can be, they can just have a regimented things about them that when they project it, what, they're crowd pleasers in that way. Like if their crowd is like a super punky crowd, they're going to be like the best, most organized punk that you, you would ever meet. Like that's kind of how it works that's kind of how their dress code can work as well like they'll wear like super structured clothes for that group whatever group that they're in like Capricorn doesn't always have to dress like super boring and stuff like they they will be smart enough to pick what they're going to wear for that specific crowd so they can be slight people pleasers in that way because they do have a lot of self-loathing I think sometimes and and they do have like this fear of being judged and they just want to make sure that they like fit in and then they'll try and make sure that they stand out in just the right way. Like not too much. Like an Aquarius ascendant who's just like, whatever, man, like I'm going to have this crazy haircut. Like it's more, there's a little bit more structure to it. Um, but they can, they can still be super stylish because they're smart enough to just know what's on trend and like what people want to see within whatever, who their, whoever their friends are or whatever their work is, you know? So they're smart in that way of presenting themselves to the world where they can kind of tailor make themselves for whatever people want. I think a lot of people don't really realize how much Capricorns can change themselves for a particular crowd because they're thinking in a business mindset of like, I want this crowd to, to like me. So this is how I'm going to be for this crowd. Do you know what I mean? But I'm still going to be like myself, but I'm going to, because your ascendant is your mask. And this is how these people use their mask, you know. So there is obviously going to be a little fakeness to every ascendant sign. Unless your ascendant is the exact same as your sun sign, I mean, good on you. <laughs> you know, like you, you, you present yourself to the world. But then underneath that, we have our moon signs too, which is, you know, an even deeper side to ourselves that we only show our really, you know, like our close family or close friends. So... You know, I do find that life for Capricorn Ascendants gets a little easier, you know, after 30 or around the late 20s. That's when they kind of start blossoming in like a more beautiful way and they kind of start respecting themselves a bit more and understanding themselves a bit more and realizing that they can do things. 
because that self-loathing that they kind of have makes them feel like they just can't achieve anything and they won't be good enough even if they are good enough you know um i do find that if they have like a low functioning satin that can be something that they super struggle with is the self the self-loathing can become quite an issue depression for capricorn ascendants can become an issue as well sometimes but that's just because of the self-doubt they just don't they have a problem with not believing in themselves and i believe that that comes around when they've had a satin return because that's what capricorn rules i believe a lot of capricorn and satin placements are like that there was planets and aspects, they kind of bloom later on. They're not really things that bloom straight away. It's a slow progression. These people are always slowly bettering themselves. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't see many Capricorn ascendants like completely giving up. I mean, obviously this depends on your whole birth chart, but they end up usually being able to turn things around if things have gotten, you know, if things aren't going that well. Going back to appearance a little bit here, um, they can have the tendency to have complete resting bitch face, like at all times. Like they'll just be like walking around and it just, they just look mad, but like they're not, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and, uh, and obviously that depends, but like, yeah, they either going to have like really, they can tend to have like quite sad eyes. Uh, eyebrows are kind of usually quite noticeable, but I mean, these days, you know, we, we all have this like, tendency to just be able to especially if you're a woman change your eyebrows like that so that might that may, might be something that's more noticeable on men th than women just because of that um and yeah teeth are usually big the smile is yeah you can see it whether that's a pretty smile or not is 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 in the eye of the beholder in my in my in my opinion but yeah capricorns can have a either no problems with their teeth and their teeth are just like these beautiful like big you know, teeth that just everyone loves and or they can just be like a complete nightmare, like always having to go to a dentist, like always having to sort that stuff out. Um, their limbs as well, because they can have like quite like that frail appearance. Um, I think it's really good for Capricorn to exercise and build muscle for Capricorn Ascendants, uh, just to like give their bones and everything some stability. Um, Cause they can just tend to it's almost just like you could snap them in half sometimes. Like some of them are so frail looking, but it's literally just their build. Um, they don't hold muscle like easily. Do you know what I mean? So that can be a little bit of an issue for Capricorn rising, um, but it does depend. Like some Capricorn risings are so well aspected and their satin's so well functioning. They're just like this piece of art. Like someone's painted them like a model, you know? They're just like so well structured looking that you don't need to change anything. Um, so yeah, they can make good models in that sense as well because they've just got like that high fashion, like runway bitch face that everyone loves. <laughs> um, but yeah, they usually age quite well too because Saturn obviously rules time and it's that slow progression. They can age so slowly, you know, it's kind of, it can almost like be backwards like as well. Like when they're younger, they can kind of look older. And then like when they're older, they can kind of look younger which is like weird, but that, like, that can literally be a thing. Um, they can be quite fearful about taking risks. They can be huge procrastinators because of this. And this is, again, going back to that self-loading thing. The biggest challenge for Capricorn Ascendants is just the fact that they just need to believe that they can do things and that everything is going to be okay. Like They don't like like sudden change. They, they tend to want to like know what's going to happen and plan things a little bit. Um, Depending obviously on everything else, again, this is just this aspect alone. You have to kind of see where your planets are sitting. But I think if Capricorn Ascendant works on the self-doubt aspects, things can be great. Or they can even just like show the world that they're workaholics and then like not take care of any other aspect of their life. So it can kind of like go either way. People also can think that they come off quite cold in a first meeting. Um, I do find this gets better as they get older and we just we get more mature as people and like less shy and less awkward like Capricorns can come off quite awkward when they're younger and very shy when they're younger in those teenage years those annoying years and kind of like when they're little kids as well they can be really cold and distant um, to people that they don't know or that they don't feel comfortable with um, they can be good in a crowd but it has to be the right crowd if it's not the right crowd they're gonna do terribly um, like they might even like put on a brave face like when they're older and like kind of like talk their way 
to whoever in, in like a group setting that they're in but if they're not enjoying it yeah like that 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 group definitely doesn't have like another chance for them in their mind so they can be a little bit materialistic in that way and i think all earth signs can be slightly materialistic in, in an ascendant kind of way so it, it's our mask you know it's not actually who you are it's just how some people can see you and and what kind of like how you feel comfortable when you're out in the world as well um but it, i think you know the understanding your ascendant sign gives you a great perspective on how other people can see you you know if like you go for a job interview or this or that and things that you just might need to work on Capricorns can just have that tendency to look too serious and be too serious sometimes um I think as they get older they really start learning to loosen up it they can age so gracefully and they find like that satin balance that is so hard to achieve sometimes um because they're just so like conditioned in these like specific ways and have specific fears and specific wants and needs and they think that there's no other way like out of that so they can get a little stuck get shit done. Um, they're really good at like if something fails they don't like change but if something fails in their life they do have the tendency to know how to fix that problem and that becomes stronger as they get older um and that's something really, really good about a Capricorn Ascendant. Um, they might be super fearful in the beginning of sudden change, but like they will work their way through it. These guys like trudge through the mud, you know what I mean? And sometimes they can just always be dealt like that crappy satin hand in life where it's like, oh, seriously, it's just one thing after the other. But they just keep pushing through and it gives them a lot of character as they get older. Like they really end up being like these super intelligent, like just very independent people as they're older that that's my opinion about them and and they have a lot of inner strength capricorn ascendants because they they do get let down a lot like they can get let down a lot through life and don't be like oh my god i have a capricorn ascendant my life sucks like that's not <laughs> what i mean this is just one of the lessons each ascendant has a lesson you know from that planet and 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 all that whether it's well aspected or not you know some people are going to love a Capricorn Ascendant and some people are going to hate it. Just like, you know, how some people mesh with other people um, better than other people. It's just, it's normal. Like, so don't like beat yourself up. Like Capricorn Ascendants, the best thing about them is definitely the uh, the determination and, and the age thing. The aging is, Capricorn aging, man, like we are, we age like fine wine, you know? So <laughs> look at the the positive side of it. All right, I'm going to leave it there, guys, and I will be continuing with the Capricorn Ascendant series and my moon updates as well. It is awesome to be back. So yeah, I hope everyone's doing really well, and I'll see you all in my next video.